Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're playing Donkey Konga. This is uh, the second game that I'm playing with the GameCube bongos. I gotta admit, when I bought these things, I thought it was a one and done kind of deal. I thought I would own the bongos, play it for Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, and that would be it. Apparently, there are two games. Uh, that used the Donkey Kong bongos. Who knew? I thought this was like a dead peripheral. Actually, I looked it up after I found out about this game. I was like, are there any other games in the 1001 Games Book I'm going to be using the, the bongos for? And it turns out there's two sequels to this game. But that's pretty much it. Otherwise, it's pretty much a dead peripheral. So um, we're going to be playing around with the bongos once again today. I don't think the sequels are in the book. So this is going to be our last uh, kind of uh, hurrah with the bongos. It's kind of funny to happen so close in time. Imagine this happened like eight years from now when I was ra nearing the end of this whole little challenge. And I was like, what the hell? I got to find my bongos. So here we go. Um, in the story, the context of the story, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong find these magical bongos and then they start a hippie commune and start playing the bongos for all their little hippie Nintendo friends or something like that. Uh, I assume that's, that's close enough to the actual story. But do we really need a backstory for Donkey Konga? It's basically you're going to be hitting some bongos. Um, I feel like we don't need a lot of justification. Let's just do it. So we can do a street performance, a challenge, a battle. Find out who the, uh, too bad I don't have two players and two bongos. Who, who has a friend who has a second pair of bongos? The bongo, having the bongos is rare enough. And a jam session, four people with bongos. Play games purchased in DK Town, go shopping. Well, let's start with the street performance. Let's do some uh, street husking or busking or whatever and try and make some moolah. So start uh, monkeying around here. We'll start at monkey level. <laughs> There's kind of this jazzy, jazzy uh Cuba cuban kind of feel to the music in the background you guys get that diddy's diddy's bingo campfire medley pokemon theme kirby right back at you we will rock you <laughs> well this is where we're starting press start to enter yes street performance This is like literally like rock band, only you just have to clap. This is, this is all it is. Oh, and then this would be left. Okay. Got it. Okay, so left bongo. This is both. Wow, okay, so this is literally just like a rock band, only simplified down into bongo form. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time coming up with th things to say about this one because it's sort of like, it kind of feels like, I, I don't wanna like, you know, be super negative here, but it kind of feels like the, like a child's version of rock band. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's very simple. Exact same idea though, I got bad on that one. I wonder, did this come out before or after like Guitar Hero and Rock Band? I don't know what that line means. Oops. Uh, this, this, this. Um, now I did read that one of the reviews for this, uh, this game that was a little negative said, you know, before you buy this game, just try clapping along with random songs in the radio for half an hour, and then you can decide if you want this game or not. On the flip side, there are lots of positive things written about this game. I think it had decent reviews. And again, they put it in the Thousand One Games You Must Play Before You Die book. So, I mean, that tells you something, I guess. So some people out there had fun with this. I mean, this feels like more of a party game. Like, you'd crack it out at a party. Because, I mean, that's kind of, you know, ro actually, Rock Band, people played that by themselves. But it definitely made a lot of appearances at parties. I remember when Rock Band and Guitar Hero, the, the fad was going on. Everyone would always break it out at parties. And uh, I had mixed feelings about that because then it would glue everyone's attention to the TV. But it was just sort of music in the background and people kind of play around. So, you know, a bit of a party game. It's hard to imagine someone's like, you know, Honey, I'm going downstairs now to play my Donkey Konga. Please don't disturb me. And then they just sit in the basement hitting on drums and clapping to themselves. Um, you know, so it feels more of a game like some kids would play in a room together or that maybe you would crack it out at a party or something like that. Um, let's skip that. Let's see what other songs we got going on here. 
Um, I'll keep it at monkey level just because, you know, we go to the harder levels, it's just going to be like crazier button combinations. And it's going to start to get very hard for me to talk. So we'll look at some of the harder ones um, together, like near the end. But what? Blink 182? What the hell? That's. It, this is literally just Rock Band, just with bongos. Oh man, I love Blink 182. I'm a huge Blink fan, but I feel like there's too many barrels there. It's going to be too hard. And I'm kind of worried about um, YouTube copyright things. So let's try to find like weird songs. Whip it. <laughs> Whip it good. Sing Sing with a swing on the road again. Let's go with the Donkey Kong rap. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to want to listen to the lyrics of this one, though. It kind of reminds me of that old Super Mario Brothers TV show, like the Super Mario Brothers Power Hour, and they kind of like rap the whole theme song. You can Google it on YouTube if you don't know what I what I mean, but uh, it, it was like these live-action Super Mario Brothers interspersed with Mario and Zelda cartoons. It was... The, the theme song is hilarious. Um, but it is totally a rap. It is a Mario rap. So I guess they thought it was time to do for Donkey Kong to have his own rap. Wow. <laughs> the Donkey Kong rap. Who thinks of these things? Um, now the bongos, I kind of feel like are a bit of a lost peripheral. So I kind of said this near the intro already. But like the bongos... You know, there's this thing that, like, Nintendo produced and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat used them. It was kind of cool. It was like an auto-runner, like Super Mario Run. Um, but before, way before Super Mario Run. Um, and then they went ahead and I guess they had the bongos. So they were like, what else can we do? And they made a game like this. In fact, I don't know, did this come first or did Donkey Kong Jungle Beat come first? I don't know which came first. But I'm sure they had the, the bongos and they were trying to come up with a handful of things. It's kind of, like, for peripherals like this, though, like, many systems have these very specific peripherals, and they just have, like, virtually no uses. Like, do you guys know this? Like, you can probably think of a handful of peripherals here. Um, and you could say, like, yeah, like, I remember having this as a kid. Like, literally, it was compatible with one game, and that was about it. Like, I feel like, to some degree, like, the Zapper and the Super Scope and the Sega Menace are all kind of like that, where they, they definitely have bigger game libraries. Um, and I actually love Nintendo Zapper games. I have a collection of literally almost every single uh, game. I have every official Zapper game ever made. Um, and I have a CRT TV so I can play it. And yeah, it's, uh, I, I love the Zapper. But that said, I mean, compared to the rest of the NES library, there is very little, um, there's very little uh, games for it. And a peripheral like this, there's even fewer. So, yeah, I, I definitely appreciate the idea that, like, we don't always have to control things with, like, a, a D-pad joystick. But then on the flip side, sometimes developers make these peripherals and, like, the, you know, they really struggle to, like, find their niche. And a lot of times, you know, just they, there's a couple of games and that's it. Like, I think probably the most successful peripherals of all time were the Guitar Hero guitars. And what's funny is there were only a couple, there were only a handful of Guitar Hero and Rock Band games. I mean, they made sequels endlessly, but like, what does it amount to? Like 10 games total? But ultimately, that was a hugely popular series because the games had so much replay value, you know? Um, where something like Duck Hunt, it's fun, but it, I mean, it does have limited replay value. At a certain point, you know you're going to kill all the ducks. So let's stick with Monkey. So we had the DK rap. Let's try the Donkey Konga theme. Why not? I like the sort of Cubana feel to the whole thing. I feel like I'm in Cuba. Um, <laughs> I would also go on the record and say that like, if I were a kid and I asked my parents if I could play a video game and this is what they gave me, this is not, when I was a kid, I don't even know if I would have wanted to play this. To be totally frank and honest with you guys, it kind of feels like when I wanted to play a game as a kid, I wanted to play Mario, Mega Man, I wanted to play Contra, you know? Like, I wanted to play video games. Like, you know, even uh, on the computer, I wanted to play, like, RPGs and, like, tank games and, you know, games. Um, this, yes, it is technically a video game, but it almost feels a little bit more like karaoke to me we're like you could argue that i mean karaoke is electronically run these days there's no points or anything so it's not really a video game 
But it is a video electronic toy, and I would almost classify this in, in the same realm, where it's sort of like, yeah, I mean, it's it's an electronic toy for sure, and it's better than doing nothing. If this was the only option my house had, I would play this over nothing. But at the, you know, in the same same time, um, as a kid, you know, when I'm thinking of coming home after school and playing video games, I was never itching for a game like this. <laughs> it's just, this is just sort of, you know, dressed up karaoke to me. Oh, we're missing all kinds of notes here. I don't know. I feel like I'm being kind of harsh in this game. You know, feel free to defend the game if you if you disagree with me. I mean, um, maybe this is a game that you love to play. Maybe it's a game you grew up with and you had fond memories of in your household. I don't know. I mean, is that true? I would I would love to hear if this is a game that you really really enjoyed as a kid. Like, what did you like about it? When did you play it? Did you play it with friends and all that? Um, because, yeah, I mean. What can I say about this game? It's it's just sort of, you know, clapping along with songs. Seems fine. Kind of reminds me of those videotapes that kids would get sometimes where it was like children karaoke, you know, and there'd be lyrics on the bottom of the screen and the bouncing ball, and kids could kind of sing along with their favorite Sharon Lois and Bram song or, you know, Mr. Dress Up or... I think those are all Canadian references, but I'm struggling to think of what the American equivalent would be. Like Sesame Street songs? I don't know. There's like little banana dinosaurs down there. Oh my god, I didn't even notice this whole time. Little banana dinosaurs. But yeah, it's 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 technically a video game. The interactivity level though is a little different than what I would consider for a uh, more traditional video game. And again, that's not a bad thing. You know, as I said before, the nice thing about Nintendo is that they experiment. But you know, that said, I mean, not every game is going to be for everyone. Memorize the notes and go bananas. Okay. Um, let's let's take a let's let's do a little bit of exploring this game here. Let's check out DK Town. Monkey Shines. Get the latest mini games. Sure. Where's my controller? Uh, put it away somewhere because I thought everything was going to be run according to the bongos here. Let's go ahead and explore here. Dude, I only have five. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever to buy extra games. I can't even look at what the extra games are. Adjust sound, no. Bongos. Buy music. What? Oh my god, you have to buy extra songs? Forget that. <laughs> What's the electric cut? Not suggesting sound settings and stuff. Ape Arcade. Do I have any games? Literally not a single one's available. That's so disappointing. I am kind of curious what kind of mini games they would actually throw in with Donkey Konga here. Join the band, battle, challenge. Um, I mean, if we go to challenge, we're just going to like hit a bunch of songs in a row. And again, I kind of want to stay away from any songs that YouTube might flag as like a copyright thing. So I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to go back into street performance. Um, I tell you what, let's go. What is this? Memorize notes. Okay, let's try one of the harder levels. The gorilla level. Oh my god, and nothing's available. We're like not even allowed to try. Nintendo, take the training wheels off, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and do stupid Cupid. And you know what? I'm going to try this one with the uh, game controller here. The, uh, the game pad. NES. Sure. So this so now I'm trying Donkey Konga. Oh god. So that's clap. And okay. Oh god, it's a lot harder actually. Oh god. Oh uh, jeez. It's so intuitive with the bongo, but I can't do this. There we go. Okay, clap. This this Amusing how like difficult it becomes Huh it goes from like being trivially easy with the bongos to like chal <laughs> very challenging with the uh, Stupid controller because the thing is okay. You have to press left on the d-pad and the a button to like clap Or no, that's that's to hit the bongos. Oops. I was doing it wrong to clap is L and R at the same time So yeah, this is we're gonna get a bad score here not that it matters. I mean, our score doesn't really matter in this game. It's not like you get to see more of the game if I do well. I could just stop playing. So what are those little dinosaur banana things at the bottom? 
And there's like an elephant jamming out with with Diddy. Diddy's like dancing along like an idiot. <laughs> this game's ridiculous. Well, you know what? Okay, to be totally honest, we're running out of things to say. I'm kind of. I feel like I'm starting to go in circles. So let's let's wrap up our our little exploration here of Donkey Kong. This is gonna be one of my shortest videos ever. But Donkey Konga is in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Um, I am sorry, but this is not a game you must play before you die. I am emphatically overriding the book on this one and saying, you may like this game, you may enjoy it, and that is totally fine. I'm not saying this is a game that like, oh god, the production value sucks and you can't play it and the controls suck. No, it's actually very well done. But is this a game that I think many people out there must play? Hell no. This is just... <laughs> This is just, you know, if you're going to play a game like this, if you want to play a, a pattern matching game like this, go with Rock Band. Or, you know what, I mean, hey, if you're into pattern matching games, go ahead and play this game. I'm not saying you can't play it, but is this a game that most people out there should definitely, you know, on your deathbed, are you going to think, oh my god, I never got to play Donkey Konga. No. 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 No, I'm sorry. Um, I'm usually I usually try to have sort of a positive spin on all games, but this is definitely not a game that I think you must play before you die. Again, it seems like a fine game. It seems like it would be fun at parties, fun with kids. Maybe had fun with it growing up. <laughs> we totally failed there. So Donkey Kong's like stupid, stupid Donkey Kong. You messed up. Um, but yeah. So anyway, that's my opinion of it. Who knows? Maybe I'm dead wrong. You can go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you think I'm being too cruel or too hard on this game. Um, or maybe you completely agree with me. You can let me know in the comments down below. Although I do like to kind of keep a positive spin on things for all my videos, guys. So even if you think, oh man, I can't believe they put this game in the book, let's not be like like dicks about it. So, uh, you know, try and keep your comments like semi-positive. And let's just remember that we're here having fun. Whether we play a game that we think should be in the book or not, we're going through an experience here, guys. And ultimately, the journey is sometimes more important than the destination, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, whether you have enjoyed watching me check out this game today or whether you think this is a game that you never want to see again either way um hopefully you've enjoyed hanging out with me today today and just experiencing i mean at the very least we can say we have now experienced what's going on in donkey konga we have a better sense of you know you know maybe there are circumstances you want to play the game at least now you know what's in the game so you know what you've learned a little today guys and so hopefully um if you have if you do feel like you've learned something you've enjoyed checking this game out with me like the like the video subscribe to the channel um i will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game and hey you don't want to miss out on that because you never know you never know what kind of game it's gonna be and that's kind of the joy of this whole little journey right right until next time, my friends, don't get caught in any bongo challenges against gorillas. And otherwise, take care of yourselves. Alrighty, peace.